With the snap of the scissors, Florida's Blood Center's new Winter Park facility is officially open for business. I think it's great. You know, the other building was good too, but it had a little bit of wear and tear to it, but this is really very nice. Florida's Blood Centers has been a part of the Winter Park community for more than four decades, taking up several locations during the past 40 years. I have donated in all, I think there were four different places before here. And, and I'm, I'm just absolutely flabbergasted at what we have here now. It's so nice. This Winter Park facility has four donation beds in total. Three of these beds are dedicated for whole blood donors, and one bed can be used for either whole blood donation or for platelet donation. It was exciting. I, I walked in and uh, he, they, they said I was the first donor. I was like, wow, this is great. John Callick christened the new branch by being the first in line to roll up his sleeve. It's important because we, you know, the, we need blood supply out there for, for accidents and um, for the hospitals. Plus, it's good for the Winter Park community. I just think it's the highest gift to know that uh, citizens uh, are giving of themselves, first their time, but then of, their, of themselves, literally their own blood that others might live. I think it's the highest uh, testimony as well as the highest gift that one can give for somebody else. Winter Park Mayor Ken Bradley's mother has received more than 80 units of blood since 2008. There's unfortunately nothing but blood transfusions that can keep her alive at this point. So uh, we're really grateful that uh, so many people have chosen to give uh, anonymously, but to her ultimately and to the thousands of other people who have received blood in Central Florida. Now Winter Park residents can save lives like their mayor's mother seven days a week right in their own backyard. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.